going big every time. And he stops oh! it! Yes! When you see someone ride, you can tell his personality through his style. Definition of style isn't that you have to look good. You can be gnarly and you can be crazy, but if it doesn't look good, to have this flow with the snow and to dance with the snow. Style shows a lot. Style comes uh, if somebody a lot of different. Oh, oh that's a difficult question. <laughs> I've been making change like it's automatic. You know, living better than my father managed. Max Ada, he is, with his young age, already a legend of the sport. Look, he's lining up and... Oh, this one! Butterfree! Freestyle, park, and heavy big mountain lines. It's incredible. Keep the game close to my heart, my precious. Over time, tend to get overzealous. When the moment's mine, I'm gonna oversell it. I hate it when... Uh, when I look shitty on skis, and I don't want to look shitty when I ski. Like where you're supposed to be, who paved that road for me? Just wait and see, this could be the one don't pick the wrong. I think my style just comes from all the skiing I did. Really going hundreds of thousands of times for different grabs. Same with the line. By filming, seeing yourself, seeing others, you kind of find out how you want it to look. And over the years, you just uh, work towards that. This could be the one. This could be the one. My parents are both mountain fanatics. My mom last year did like 33,000 meter peaks or something like that. Uh, my dad actually used to, to do freestyle as well before he didn't even know that people did it out there. And, and I have a crazy picture back home of him doing a a uh, perfectly laid out Superman front flip with super old school gear. I naturally started off skiing at a, at a young age. I did uh, ski racing for 10 years. So whenever we would just jump or have fun or just go outside of the slopes, we would get shit for that. Till I actually found out there is a, that there is a thing like freestyle skiing. Yeah! That's when the passion took off. After years of, uh, of competing in slope style, my manager actually organized me a, a spot at the Red Bull Line Catcher. I told him, dude, are you serious? I, I never ski power, so why should I go? And then ended up in second place. Competing at the Red Bull Line Catcher opened uh, a door for me. Dream run, <laughs> best day of my life. <laughs> Which I knew was there, but I didn't never open it. I never thought I wanted to open it. But then when I actually saw what's behind it, I kind of wanted to go in there, you know. Three, two, one. That girl, she's got some tools. The super nice thing about the roadshow is how you can show the footage you get on uh, social media, for, for example. It's all live, people see where you are right now, what you are doing right now. It's a good way for me to be able to keep shooting and still do the tour. It doesn't need to be 4K. Uh, we can go out, super light setup. Whenever we find something, boom, camera out, we shoot it and then we keep going. Yes. Having somebody like Alex, which, which, which is super hungry, not just for filming, but also for skiing, just hungry to have a great time as well. Wherever you go, it's just perfect. <laughs> And also the style of editing, you know, making the people connect with it. Oh, yeah, just adding the slow motion. And then we cut to your GoPro. Because even on the GoPro, it's good. Yeah. 
I'd say we both help out each other. And like this, we're really just free of how we want to get the shot, what shot we want to get, how it's filmed, play around with the different angles. And yeah, just have a, a good time creating. <laughs> got, got the shot. Mark Seder. Mark Seder, of course. Mark Seder. Mark Seder. Mark skiing is insane. Uh, he looks uh, super stylish and simple. He makes it look easy. Anytime he spins anything, perfectly on form. It's incredible. Funny that people tell me that I'm stylish because sometimes I don't think I'm stylish, you know. I'm, I'm kind of not a perfectionist, but I'm really picky when it comes to that. Usually I feel bad for a whole week if I just do a little mistake. Don't have to do bad, then it's fine. <laughs> Marcus, every time he drops in, it's something special, and it's almost always something that I never even noticed or thought was possible on the face. It's so easy going in the face check. He's always like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll just kind of figure it out. But then when he goes, you know the plan was so solid and locked in. So he's heading uh, over to the Sunny Pow side. Uh, we're going to see what he's got in store for us over there. That's right, Marcus. Such a nice guy. It's such a super sender as well. Taking that top hit big, and that's into exposure as well. But nice 360 there as well. You know, getting a little face shot there as he popped the top off the spine and now moving across. Getting cross court there, finding transition, super smooth there. This is really creative in the classic Marcus Eater style. He's always just got a slightly different take on the on the face. Now he's gonna come in underneath this thing and getting still making his way back up across there. Transitioning again, transfer ears, we love them, he obviously loves them, and that's a really good pick today with the snow, I think. If you go full line, it can be hard to shut it down, so popping up and over to give yourself as much speed or as little speed as you want to land in exactly the right place. Really smart skiing from Marcus. Now, lining up a nice laid out backflip there, and he's gonna get cross hill off this one as well. Smooth top to bottom run for Marcus Eater. <laughs> He was all over, he's really used up, you know, the whole mountain, he's side to side, boom, all in the green. Category is lighting up like a Christmas tree. Marcus Eater there getting a hug from Victor. We're gonna see uh, see how how the judges thought of it. Marcus Eater, oh. 92 points. Boom, well, Marcus Eater putting down a big statement, taking the win. I think the style rewards yourself the most after all. That's definitely something that never finishes. Even uh, when I'll be 50, I want to be, I want to have a certain style that gets recognized. Fear is definitely a part of the equation competing in free riding. I'm pretty good at deciding where my limit is. Stop. Always makes it look so, so easy. easy. It's unbelievable. Without passing that line. He goes even bigger. Oh, this time. Oh. Going big every time. And he stops oh. it. Yes. When you see someone ride, you can tell his personality through his style. 